and welcome back. Today is day one in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, made it here, made actually made it here yesterday, and uh, yeah, I, I just knocked out. I was just so tired that I was like, you know what, just check into the Temple Bar Inn Hotel and then just relax. So today we have a couple tours that we're doing. We're gonna be walking around towards uh, Book of Kells, the Long Hall. We're gonna go to the Dublin Castle. Um, lots of history here and it's pretty cool how they use the term Vikings and everything I didn't know this is one of the largest Viking places in the world at one point So um, wanted to check that out and see what you guys think, but let me know if there's anything I should do Leave me a comment below and yeah, let's go and start the episode She died of a fever and no one could save her and that was the end of sweet Molly below Now her ghost fills her barrow through streets broad and narrow crying cockles and muscles Alive, alive, oh. So this is Molly Malone. She is the unofficial... No, I don't deserve that, really. I don't. <laughs> really, I don't. Uh, Molly Malone, she's the unofficial mascot of Dublin. In 1988, the local governments decided that Dublin was a thousand years old. It is a lot older than that, and we're going to talk about that later. But to celebrate 1,000 years of Dublin in 1988, they commissioned this statue, and they tried to find out, did Molly Malone actually exist? Was she a real person? They scanned the archives, and they found a reference to a Mary Margaret Molly Malone, who died of a fever, like it says in the song, on the 13th of June, 1699. So now 13 June is officially Molly Malone Day. So, in order to receive good luck, you rub the statue on the handle. <laughs> on the handle, okay? So, we'll stop here for a couple of photographs. Okay, we're here at the Guinness brew house or Guinness storehouse. This is like the original, the original, where they make all your um, Guinness drinks and stuff. They have some exclusive ones too that you can't find anywhere else. And it's very uh, unique because they'll only bottle it here. Um, gonna do a tour. Uh, it's like a, like a special bar, very private bar that they take you in. And they kind of give you guys like all the different, like style, I guess I guess how they brew it. And so they give you like a good history lesson. So let's go ahead and check that place out. So here at the Irish dinner thing, I don't even know what it's called. Um, 
As you can see, a lot of people here. They got a stage. It's supposed to be pretty cool. Um, not really sure what they're doing. They're supposed to feed us, and it's like unlimited drinks and stuff. They already gave some shots and beers and wines and just had a soup, which was pretty good. Um, but showed up about... Well, showed up on time, but suggested time was 20 minutes ago. And everyone's probably maybe like three or four drinks in already. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're going to check out the show. Hopefully it's pretty cool. I'm like, excited about it. I think they're doing some kind of like river dancing or something. Um, some folk tales or something like that. So yeah, I guess let's check it out. Let's go. And that's the end of today, guys. Um, that was a pretty cool show. Um, food was good. Uh, a lot of drinks. A lot of people were drinking a lot. A lot. <laughs> um, now, just real quick, this place is about 40-ish minutes away from the Temple Bar Inn or the, the Temple District, Temple Bar District, whatever that area is at. Um, so it's not close. And if there's traffic, then you got to take all that into consideration but cool show um i found all this stuff in expedia so i'm gonna leave uh in the description below i'll leave links to all that stuff that way you guys get all like hooked up if you guys want to check it out um the guys the singers are actually really good very funny a lot of good jokes um yeah let me know what you guys think uh as always i always tell you guys let me know if there's anything i should be doing while i'm out here in my trip so leave me a comment below and yeah, stay tuned to the next one. You don't know what we're going to do. So you guys take care. Take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.